Yeah! Check out this beautiful battery, man. This is gorgeous, man. Look at the size of this. Look how many cells here. Whoa! This is IP56, man. This is a weatherproof, huge pack, man. 49 amp an hour in 36 volts configuration and if you just change the wiring here just like a very few wires you can change this to 72 volts 24.5 amp an hour man this is huge man look how many cells i got here wow you can see everything through the cover man gonna be opening here so this is the on and off switch here i'm gonna switch this thing off and i'm gonna open here Ugh. very easy to service very modular got like a rubber here see wow this everything here's got connectors is well it's made by a technician who fix batteries man wow check this protection here so here you see the wiring oh beautiful very neat wow b minus b1 b2 b3 b4 da, 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 b10 okay so this is a 36 volt battery this is another 36 and depending on the way you connect these things here i got some anderson connectors here okay so you can go 36 volts or 72 volts you're connecting series or in parallel here this guy here he's going for range 36 volts uh, 250 watts motor it's gonna ride from sydney to the australian capital man eh? canberra 280 case easy easy in a single charge with this battery man that's very very impressive man. this is the battery outside the case man oh check this thing all padded nice cushion very very well protected to all sides here oh i guess any impact the top as well so everything is pressed man we're really really nice here so the battery is not moving at all oh, and then oh you're gonna be talking oh what about the heat or anything no man that's why we go with cell holders man check this thing any heat generated by the cell a very small uh, amount of heat okay so it's just gonna go up here uh, naturally okay so gonna go up so that's why it's good to have this gap between the cells plus this thing makes your life a lot easier when you're replacing any faulty cells here okay if you need to uh, fix any of the series here normally when something goes wrong with a pack you kill one series of the pack not the whole pack okay so you're just gonna break these tabs here so just break these four tabs uh, on the positive side okay very very careful and poke the cell from the negative side which is the safest never do from the positive boom and the cell just gonna slide across here the pack very easy man not a drum at all <laughs> these batteries here so you, they're all glued man this is using super glue so try to service this cell here it's impossible man it's impossible to break this pack in half but that's why i always tell people man go with the cell holders man they're the best man and you can service the battery if you glue the cells pff, you're screwed man we can never fix one faulty cell so this is the balancing wire they're all silicone wires man uh high quality cable okay so they're not like a nasty pvc here as a technician i want to have easy access to the series here okay i actually have access here all right so i don't need to go through the pack but if i want to go and connect things on the pack here i just poke my probe here boom 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 and just go and everything is labeled okay so b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 all the way here 36 volts pack goes to b10 this is the b minus oh. this case is 36 volts configuration so i connect them in parallel here okay for higher capacity and then you see so it feels uh 72 volts configuration uh we just need a different uh wiring here okay so it'll be connected in series so this thing's going to be connected to the side so one plus another one and this connector here is going to be different it's double the size it's going to be a pretty big one okay like matching the bms the 72 volts bms okay layers and layers of tape here protecting uh against any rubbing or short or anything right everything is actually using uh captain tape okay heat resistant uh, so this is a proper tape if a uh, battery use okay really nice okay it won't like the glue it won't come off won't melt like uh, if you use electrical tape or anything like this pff, forget it man eh? it's gonna be all nasty sticky stuff and the tape is gonna come off like just go with the nice captain tape okay so yeah you see all the wiring here everything protected so there's a layer another layer so it's all there man oh i hear these paper isolators here okay so this actually goes on every single cell as you see here Okay, so they all got this extra paper ring and the cells, they don't come with this thing. And then people go like, well, why are you using paper rings there, man? So much work putting in every single battery. In case of any short or anything and the tab gets really, really hot. Okay, so the paper ring is actually uh, preventing from anything melting and shorting the positive and negative. They're, they're all together here, okay? So we actually put 
all these paper rings in every single cell, okay? 140 times. It's very annoying, but well, it gives an extra safety here. Okay? Well, that's why we use paper rings here. Paper won't melt. Oh, the paper here. So this paper is actually, it's really nice. Uh, it's like a cardboard. It's pretty thick. It's a thick paper and it's, uh, it's got some glue here as well. I actually got two layers of paper here. One here, one there, one in each pack. And then I ended up putting this thing to give a little bit more space and a little cushion between the packs and keep them all together. Okay, so this is a double side tape. Okay, so this is a 3M, really nice one. Okay, uh, and yeah, it is pretty strong, but it's glued to the paper. Okay, so you can actually break with your hands and uh, uh, this pack in half. You see, we have this protection everywhere here, all the possible areas that you can have a short or anything. So this is a very small BMS here, it's a 36 volts. The guy is actually using a very small motor, 250 watts, okay? So this thing's gonna last forever, man. Disconnect balancing wires first, then disconnect the battery minus. Wow! Those are the label here, so this is the battery minus and it's connected to the battery minus on the BMS here and then we got here that this is the discharge connector and it's labeled here on this side here so this is the discharge connector, okay? Discharge minus so this is the charge minus and then it goes to the charge minus, which is this one here, okay? So it's pretty easy, and only two or three uh, Andersons to disconnect here, okay? Pretty simple, and this is the positive. Uh, they're all 45 amp Andersons, okay? So, but if you go for really high discharge, uh, you just change the connectors here. So we've got this uh, temperature sensor here, in case anything goes wrong, anything goes really hot, so this is gonna cut uh, the BMS, okay? It's got an on and off switch here, as I show. Uh, and this is the cycle saturator, that's his charger, man. Weather resistant, very nice. I actually made a video tutorial here. Yeah! Check it out, man. Ah, cycle saturator, pretty cool. All with XLR connections. And here you go here. So see, this is the connection here for the charger. XLR, all weather resistant, nice rubber. Inside, it's all potted. So I potted everything here. So there's no water, nothing's gonna get inside here. I cover the hole here and see everything here is weather resistant. Yeah? There's another ring here and this is a nice rubber cable here. Man, this is a cable used for professional speakers. Man. It's very flexible, uh, used for audio systems. They can carry a lot of current. Wow! And then you see here, uh, I make this thing weather resistant as well. Okay, so I use a double wall. It's a very thick uh, heat shrink here with glue inside. I don't know if you can see here. There is a glue inside so when you melt this thing it actually seals from any water or dust between the shrink and the cable okay uh, 24 mil heat shrink uh, it's a four to one ratio uh shrink check how small this thing goes yeah oh, and the glue inside i don't know if you can see now nah, probably not in the camera but yeah you can hear there's a little glue here okay I always do this setup here in every single bike that I make with. And this is an XT90 connector, okay? So XT90S, it's anti-spark connector, okay? So it's not a regular XT90. So when you see this green thing, it's actually, uh, there's a little resistor inside here. So, and then there's a little ring. I don't know if I can focus the camera. So there's a little ring first, and then the contact is inside there, okay? So when you plug the thing, the boom, boom, it absorbs this part, man. This is genius, man. And then you might be asking, what's, what's this black box here, man? There's no need for this, okay? So this is actually something that we recycle from his previous battery. It's got this sliding tray here, okay? I actually cut his old battery casing in half. <laughs> and basically keep the exactly the same mount. There's it used to be two big batteries like this and 14 kilos, man. So we actually managed to put this down to nine kilos. Right, so it's on the scale here. So you see it's 9.25 kilos, man. It's not too heavy, man. So this is gonna go on a recumbent track. So it's got plenty of room to put in the back of his seat. We put XT90, anti-spark, nice here, with heat shrink, hot glue here, all that, weatherproof, beautiful. This is how it goes here, eh? Check this. Slide here, lock it in, boom. I managed to put his old battery pack here. So he's got a second battery, man. This is a 12 amp an hour. So see, like a XT90 connector. So you can just unplug the big battery and plug this one here in. Boom, too easy, man. 
Oh, never gonna run out of battery, man. Double and more his range, man. He's got a 49 amp an hour battery, man. This is huge, man. It's gonna take this guy to the moon. Oh, man, this thing packs so much power. Power, yeah. Yes, see you later, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow, man, what else can I say here, man?